Yes, and they keep moving around them. They just move around them. They're, they're blocking and evading, and I just, I just put my head here. Right? I could see that coming and stop it, right? They're blocking and evading and moving, and all of a sudden you see a robot. Yeah, just. You can't just freeze when you're done, yes. You can be throwing your elbow, you can't reach. You can be throwing your jab, you can be throwing an open hand. Yes, and then keep moving around them. Just move around them. Yep. What can you do? Boom! That's it. You follow up with the ribs. What am I doing with them? Ah, yes. So you should be able to capitalize on that. I could see that coming and stop it, right? the beginning of counters because eventually what I want you to be able to do is weather the storm. Right? I'm coming in with a barrage of punches and they're blocking and evading and moving and all of a sudden you see your opening. When you see your opening, that's when you go for it. Right? Sometimes you have to take two or three or four. And I don't mean take them as far as flush in the face take them, but what I mean by that is you're blocking and you're moving, you're seeing and you're waiting for your opening. We're being patient. Yes. Yeah, yeah, but you gotta stay sideways. Yeah, that's super important because if you're square to somebody, you're exposing all your sunlight and targets. Yeah. 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 So I just I just put my head here. Right? Yeah. So if I'm coming with a barrage of punches, right? What you're doing is right? What you're doing is staying calmly under pressure. Right? And then as soon as you see your opening, that's when you go for it, right? So here's my dad, right? What can you do? Boom! That's it. You follow up. What can you do? Boom! That's it. You follow up. Okay? And the key is really important that you get used to punches being coming at you. And because you can see, if you watch here, watch. As soon as I pivot right, my left shoulder is going back, my right shoulder is going forward. Now, I could be throwing an elbow, I can't reach. I could be throwing a jab, I could be throwing an open hand, a jab across, excuse me. Or I could be throwing a kick. But the shoulder. Yes. The hips pivot, the shoulders pivot. Right? So as soon as you start to see that pivot, like your left foot's forward, your left arm's already forward. But it doesn't matter because you have now have to step to reach me. <laughs> right? Yeah. If I were here, it would be harder to read. Not impossible, harder. Okay? I really have to focus on not your eyes and have to stop and look here. And as soon as I see anything start to move, then I then I respond accordingly. Not react, respond. Respond means you have an answer to that question. If you react, it's like, oh shit. It's the so old, oh shit moment, one. right? One so it's important five. that you, you um, test each and yes. defensive position. Yes. Oh, yeah, you should, you should know, um, <coughs> there's more, but there's a tons and tons and tons of defensive. Like if we're in close here, remember, if I'm hitting the ribs, what am I doing with them? Ah, yes. So you should be able to capitalize on that, right? Now, it doesn't mean I'm always going to be open like that. I could see that coming and stop it, right? I could be open like that. I could see that coming and stop it, right? Put it down and, and keep going. But if I'm not savvy enough to stop that, that upper cut, then I'm going to get hit. No, I cannot. You don't know what the fighter knows yeah. until you hit him. So we're just going to have to do it the right? Or right, and if they have the proper defenses for it, then okay. so be it. So, then you, the then you just hit more. Because right? at some point, they're going to either snap or they're going to move away from you or they're going to get hit. Can you see me still? But it's a, there's a fluidity to it. You can't just, you can't just freeze when you're done, yes. You can't just, you can't just freeze when you're done, yes. You have to keep going. No. Yes, and then keep moving around them. Just move around them. Yep. Yes, and then keep moving around them. Just move around them. Yep. The key is constantly moving in semi-circles. You don't want to stay in front of the, any opponent. It's a mental thing. Because you want to keep moving around them. Make them turn. Make them go, which is stop moving. Right. I've seen that happen before. Like, for example, uh, Floyd Mayweather Jr. Not be that boy moved and moved and moved and moved and finally got tired because he moved so much. 
but he was smart because he would hit him and move and hit him and move and hit him and move. And they're all saying, oh, he's a coward. He's just hitting and running. He's hitting and running. Well, yeah, <laughs> that's smart fighting. Yes. It's not stupid. And then they would get tired because he had superior footwork and, and, and superior cardio, right? And they would get tired and then he'd just beat the shit out of them. <laughs> Very smart tactics. Yes. So, but in that respect, you got to be able to weather the storm.